Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to NB Edits. I know that it has been an absolute minute since you guys have seen us. It has been a very long time. Nick and I have been on the grind. We have had so much crazy stuff come up here in the year of 2020. It's been absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, you guys haven't really seen us since late summer. Unfortunately, we really didn't even get that much time to get out and film content in our fall season. If you guys are from the Midwest, you guys know that we really didn't have too much of a fall season at all. We pretty much jumped right into winter. Uh, we had maybe like two or three weeks of fall-like weather, you know, typical 60 degrees, beautiful leaves and stuff like that. But we got some cold, windy, rainy days that knocked down those leaves. And lately, we've been getting snow, really cold temperatures, and what we're after today is to see if we can find some ice. Now I'm down here, I just got to one of my favorite lakes. I've been looking all over northern Wisconsin for ice, and uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find anything safe yet. But I'm on my way to work right now, and I just wanna check out one of the lakes and give you guys a little update, a little report, and just see what some of the bodies of water up here are starting to look like. Obviously, every body of water is gonna be different. There's gonna be some bodies of water that are completely wide open, whether it's due to wind, whether it's due to how big they are, how deep they are, if they're spring fed, there's numerous things that can make a difference when it comes to creating and forming ice. But the goal for today is just to get out here, see how much ice we have on one of our favorite lakes that Nick and I like to fish. There's panfish in here, there's bass, there's pike and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead, grab our handy dandy spud bar, our little chisel here, and we're gonna head down to the water and just see what we can find, and hopefully what we find is thick enough ice to walk on. Holy crap, I almost don't believe it. We're here at the landing, and as you can tell, we've got ice. It looks like almost the whole lake is locked up. This is crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, all right. Well, it goes through in one hit, but I think it's safe to say that this ice is not terrible. I think I can walk on this, but I'm not positive. Ooh, we're cracking already. Let me see if I can come from a little bit different area where I didn't just chisel out. And I'm just gonna slide and put a little weight on it. Okay, well, it cracked and I can feel it cracking, but Ooh, this is nerve wracking, guys. I'm only in a couple inches, so I'm being smart about this. But, holy cow, you guys. Look at this, this is unbelievable. This is looking really, really good. As you can tell, we've got weed edge and stuff like that that goes all the way up and along the shoreline here. I can't believe it. The whole thing is completely covered. I think if I could just get out, I might be able to actually find safe ice. Obviously not the whole lake is going to be, and it looks like a good portion of the lake is actually open over in that direction, but wow, it's not, it's not bad ice actually. I wish there was a little more because I can go right through with one hit, but uh, we're getting really close here. Wow. Wow, look at this. I'm walking on ice, guys. Okay, yep, time to get back. <laughs> well, I did it. <laughs> it cracked pretty heavily right there. It's it's not quite ready, but it's, it's really close. Temperatures wise, man, if we could get another cold night or two to make an extra half inch to an inch, we could walk on this and that would help lock up the rest of the lake. This is... This is unbelievable. Let's just keep adventuring and take a look. Okay, so I walked over to the corner here. I'm kind of on a tiny little peak that's right next to the landing. And as you can tell, you can get a pretty good view of what's going on here. So this is like what I was talking about, the whole frozen part here. Um, there's a couple little bays and uh, it looks like that's all frozen. And then looking out towards the other side, ice doesn't look bad, but doesn't look quite as good it looks very very fresh and you can tell some of this ice right here the wind played effect last night when it was being formed because it's not nearly as flat you can kind of tell there's like some waves in it so wind can help but it also can be a big pain in the butt not always what's going to help you but as you can tell there's open water out there and then to the left 
all actually looks frozen. The whole lake is almost completely frozen over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue walking down this trail. We're gonna walk the shoreline and we're just gonna see what it looks like on the other side of the lake farther down. This is about, oh, I don't know, probably 50 acre lake or so, give or take. I'd have to look it up again to see exactly what it is, but so far, good sign. All right, well, we're on the shoreline here. We walked probably about eh, 100 yards, maybe 200 yards. Again, we're out on another point, and um, wow, this whole side of the lake is completely frozen as well. Unbelievable. Man, oh man. It's crazy what one night can do. It got... It got brutally cold last night. I shouldn't say brutally, but it got cold. Let's just put it that way. Every single thing in my vision right now is completely frozen. Almost this entire lake is locked. As you can tell right here on the shoreline, it's not gonna be very good. Like that's just water, basically. I mean, very, very small film. But there's, um, there's lily pads here and the shorelines never freeze as well. So what we're gonna need is for the shorelines to freeze up just a little bit more because if I could get out on that ice, I bet you that ice is probably walkable and almost fishable. Sounds crazy, I know, but it's true because last year when Nick and I came here, we came off right here on this point and now this was, this was probably about an inch of ice, I would say. And right now it's not quite that, even in some of the better spots. Let's just, let's just take a look. If I chisel out, a little piece here. Oh, all right, there you go. There you can kind of see what we're looking at right now. I'd say it's about half an inch to almost three quarters of an inch, not quite. But uh, we'll toss that out there. As I was saying, last year when we came out, we had probably about I would say about an inch on the shoreline and we had to shift our weight accordingly so that we could get out there farther and what we came to find was that everything that was out a lot farther uh, was double almost triple the amount of ice so we got out towards the center of the lake and we found over two and a half almost three inches of ice and on the shorelines there was only an inch which is common that's that's what you're going to find on most lakes the shorelines freeze first you're going to see that almost everywhere but what happens is once the shorelines start to freeze uh, it starts to grow out and go across the whole lake. It gets really cold. The whole lake starts to freeze. Well, the shorelines do not. And part of the reason for that is because earth here, as we're walking on, uh, is still warm. It's not frozen yet. So there's warmth radiating off this bank. And that's what's creating the shoreline to not freeze as well as we would like to. But it's not going to take long. Honestly, guys, I think there's a chance. I really, truly believe there's a chance. If it does not get too warm today, Man, I think there's a chance that I could almost come out here tomorrow morning if I could find a safe spot to go off from. I think if I could get out there, our fishing spot really isn't that far. It's basically just straight that way and probably got to walk, eh, I don't know, 200 feet, 300 feet maybe at most. So really cool to see. I'm just going to keep looking around just a little bit to see what I find. All right, everyone. Well, <laughs> I'm back at the truck and it almost seems hard to believe. I just, wow, unreal. The amount of scouting and searching and stuff like that that I have done so far already this year, trying to find ice. Last two, three days, I've found ice way, way up in northern Wisconsin, but none of it was obviously safe, and a lot of the lakes were completely wide open still. We just never truly got that one really, really cold night to help create and form ice, and last night was the night. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of time today because I do have to get back to work, but found ice, found a lake that is almost completely locked. A small portion of the lake that is open. I wouldn't doubt it honestly if tomorrow morning I came here and the whole thing was locked. Uh, it's just gonna depend on how warm it gets today and I'm hoping that the temperatures stay rather cold because if they do, well then, 
I can possibly get out here tomorrow. I know that sounds crazy. I've never ice fished in the month of October, but that is a goal of mine and I'm gonna try everything in my power to do so. As you guys know, Nick and I, like we said, have been steady on the grind and it means a lot to us to have you guys uh, supporting us all the way through. We just wanted to say thank you guys so much for helping us hit a goal of 10,000 subscribers. I don't think Nick and I have gotten a chance to say it. Um, <laughs> we've been really busy, we've been on the grind. We've had multiple fishing trips uh, that just didn't go quite as planned this fall. We got into some walleyes and stuff like that. We did some bass fishing and we just never had that one killer day where we felt that it was going to be enough for a video for you guys. So we kind of hesitated to put any of our content out that we have been filming and honestly we've just been preparing ourselves and getting ourselves ready for ice and it's extremely exciting to see that we've got ice here in 2020 already and I think it's gonna be right around the corner as long as the conditions can stay where we want them to be um, overall it's pretty crazy I know it seems hard to believe but this is true this is real 2020 ice season is right around the corner there's a chance it might even be tomorrow Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being supporters. Uh, 10,000 subscribers means a lot, and we've got tons and tons and tons and tons of content coming your way. Uh, with ice being here rather soon, we're gonna be out here almost every day. Every single chance that we get, we're gonna be on the ice, and you're not going to wanna miss it. One more thing, uh, we did have a huge, huge supporter of ours, a 17-year-old kid here from Wisconsin named Gavin. Uh, he was a huge supporter of ours, and he recently passed away, and Nick and I wanted to do something special in honor of him and in honor of being a supporter of our channel. We went and created a GoFundMe page and what we want to try and do is just raise awareness for him and help support his family and it would mean a lot to us if you guys would like to be a part of that even if you didn't know Gavin and helping a family in need out right now uh, would mean a lot to us. He was a 17 year old kid again from Rhinelander. He was admitted into the American Family Children's Hospital back in August and um, he had an uphill battle I'll just put it that way but he was a huge supporter of ours he actually made it out in one of our videos uh, he did some ice fishing with us he actually came out to a tournament uh, in northern Wisconsin with us he was a really good kid so we're gonna go ahead and link the GoFundMe page down below if you guys are interested most certainly give it a read and give us some support that would uh, that would greatly mean a lot to us so hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel don't forget to hit that little notification bell it's gonna let you know anytime that we post a video in the future we are gonna be getting back out here and multiple other places now that ice is starting to form hopefully the weather conditions stay right where we want them to be that's the biggest thing so we can get out here and uh, get on top of the ice hopefully catch some fish so we will see you guys soon hopefully you guys enjoyed until next time tight lines from NB edits